People aren't living longer, they're dying longer. I'm a steak guy. Fish. Sushi, actually. Got up as heavy as 518 pounds. Six months, you'll be in dialysis or you'll be dead. I can't have that one candy bar a week because I didn't have an off switch. You're going to be on insulin the rest of your life. I wasn't making any progress on the pills. We see this kind of cancer. There's no known cure. I was flat on a gurney and they were debating, do I have triple bypass? I thought that my hypertension was genetic. You're out of control and they were not giving me any hope at all. We had the cure. We've had it. For decades, what we know from cigarette smoking is the public doesn't like to be lied to. We need education more than medication. Can't blame doctors. They're not trained in this field. I was really angry. I just could not understand why I didn't learn any of this in medical school. The food industry, which is a trillion dollar industry, uses very similar kind of tobacco style techniques, paying off scientists and funding studies. What is on our plate is really affecting our environment. We have been putting the wrong fuel in our body. Americans, Europeans are being poisoned by these animals foods. You can see what the person is eating by looking at the plaque in their artery. See the plaque right there? We were literally bypassing the problem. Without some serious lifestyle changes, this guy will be back. Foods are the cause of diabetes, of heart disease, of many forms of cancer, of hypertension. And if they're the cause, they can also be the solution. I had to really look at it to see patients that I knew should be dead by my conventional training, alive and well, tumors melting away. The power is not inside of our hands as physicians. The power is inside your hands answer your life choices. Don't let your culture hold your heart hostage. Many symptoms and diseases just melt away even after being there for years. The doctor said this woman alleges to have lupus, but we're not finding any evidence of it. Doctor says you're no longer diabetic. <laughs> The most important decision anyone makes every day is what they elect to put in their mouths. I need to make a change, but what do I do? In the nutrition classes that I teach, a big component of that is taking people to the grocery store and doing hands-on training and teach people label reading. I think it is something that will really work. It's just my habits. Probably 95% of America has no idea how to eat. It's not so much about trying to invent a new way of life, but rather discovering the foods that are right here in front of you. I think that's the gift of the plant-based diet, is it really kind of taps into all your different creative parts and you just start really experiencing a new variety. This is my garlic alfredo. It's just seven ingredients. Just start out with chopping some onions, chopping some garlic. We're on the cusp of a paradigm shift. To me, this is the future of food. I can't imagine another way that we could have a greater impact on our health. Standing in front of you is obviously not a hindrance in bodybuilding to eat whole plant foods. To be able to push through 90 minutes and not get stopped by muscle cramps was an amazing feeling. Food is powerful. I've been in medicine for over 30 years and for the very first time I can truly look someone in the eye and I can say I can heal you. Why isn't every person trying this? It's the best thing that ever happened to me. It saved my life, it saved my marriage. It's really nice to do things when you get results. Here I was in control all along. It gave me freedom. This is where medicine should be. Come on. What's on your plate?